is jigging, busy, lit. Got the coverage of the week. We're crossing them off, they sneaks and got them jumping out the seat. Cause it's digging, 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 the attention in the room. We felt, uh, felt very composed about tonight. Um, all, all the guys just came together as a group and we made it our mission to get the win. What does it mean for you guys to win this one and kind of continue the streak you had? Uh, it feels great because it's our uh, first three-peat in Bullets history. So, uh, so it's a great feeling for the school 
and for the community. Well, it was back and forth the whole night. I mean, kept matching big shots. Uh, was there any certain point where any key down the stretch when you thought you started pulling away? Uh, yeah, actually, um, near the end, we got about an eight point lead uh, with like two minutes left. Uh, when uh, Big Andre got the put back, that's when we felt like it was our, our game. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Well, first off, we really condition ourselves just to talk about it being a one-time thing. Yeah, yeah dude. It's just, it's, you know, different players on this year's team. It's just a whole different cast, different guys in different roles. So the guys were really focused on just this year. But um, it was fitting that um, that Episcopal played so well, and, and they really made us earn it. Uh, Malinowski was just a, uh, a, he was really, really good for three and a half quarters. And um, I, I think just our, 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 our tag team approach with Aaron Briggs, Russell Sangster, and, and Jamal Greenwood all taking turns covering him, making him work, uh, really, really affected his legs at the end. Because, you know, when Episcopal wins, Greg Malinowski has big nights, and that's just uh, that's how it is. It's what it is, and we're fortunate. We have three very good players. They have one tremendous player, and fortunately, things worked out our way. Right, right. Yeah, the flow of the game, I think you kind of touched on that already, but, you know, it was back and forth, and you were finally able to, to pull away there. Was there a point where you finally felt comfortable? Yeah. Briggs is second three. Briggs is second three. That... Um, he has done that many times in his career. I mean, he's a tremendous, tremendous shooter. He has close to 63s on the season. Uh, and, I mean, that's, uh, that was a good play. I think Greenwood might have penetrated and kicked it out to him and got his feet set. And when Briggs gets his feet set, he's money. He's really, really good. So uh, the second one, I think that might have stretched it out to eight or nine. I'm, I'm not 100% positive. And then the way we're playing defense, they're saying, okay, this is going to happen. Yeah. Isn't that a big singer season for you guys? Oh. I know you headed to Navy, but, I mean, just having a guy like that on your roster, again, hitting big shots when it gets tight, I mean, how important is that? Aaron Briggs has been with me. I've been his coach for five years. So he came to Bullis as an eighth grader. So I coached the summer league team because my son Brian is the same age. So I coached the summer league team, coached team during the year, and then Aaron played varsity. So he's had me every winter, every summer for five years. Um, I'm sure he's ready to hear another voice in his life as his coach, but um, it's very comforting to know that uh, uh, you know that he's shooting the ball and he's really grown up because we had Anthony a year ago and Aaron's always wanted this spot to be the point guard and it's just he's bided his time and he's earned it he's earned it and uh, it's fitting because he was in control of the game and he was just uh, it's so fun as a coach to see a player who works so hard and grow be rewarded for his efforts. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks for coming out.